Hi there the guys, Mark here, welcome! Today we are revisiting one of the classic paired accord projects, the box knot key fob. This version of the box knot key fob is done out of smaller cordage, worked two strands at a time. The result is a quite rigid, nice looking key fob with sharp angles on the sides. For the supplies, I'm going to be using four strands of 95 cord, each is three feet long. The second supply is going to be a key ring. To begin, we're going to cross our two pairs of strands at the center points. So first, I bring all of the ends of my first two cords together, find the middle point, run my other two strands through, bring the other ends together, then pull crossing at about the middle point. Now for this color setup, you will want your strands like this. The first box knot is a bit tricky, simply because the strands at this point can still move around quite a bit. To prevent this movement, press onto the center point then tie your box knot. Left pair to the right, right pair to the left, top pair is woven over under to the bottom Bottom pair passes over under to the top. So, our first and the only tricky box knot. Tighten up gradually, removing slack. like this. All further box knots are tied exactly the same way. Left pair to the right, right pair to the left, top pair over under to the bottom, and bottom pair over, under, to the top. Tighten up. First we tighten up in pairs, then in single strands. Then simply repeat, left pair to the right, 
right pair to the left, top pair over under to the bottom, bottom pair over under to the top. Tying yet another box knot. So that's it. Keep stacking box knots one on top of the other up to the desired length. At that point we're going to finish. Work your knots tightly and you're going to get a nice result. Finishing up is easy. Tie another box knot. Tighten up your knot a little bit, not too much. Then transform your box knot into the foot rope knot. Grab a pair, pass it over the next pair, then up through the center of the knot. Grab the next pair, over the next pair, and up through the center. The next pair, over the next pair, up through the center.
the last pair, again, over the next pair, up through the center. Tighten up. Tighten up further, going from the last box knot through the knot into the ends. From the last box knot through the knot into the ends. Do some more tightening, as much as you want. Trim the ends. Lightly melt them. Attach your keyring. And we are done. A beautiful key fob, not too hard to do, and in my opinion, it looks great. So guys, this concludes our tutorial on a slightly updated version of the box knot key fob. Thank you for joining me, and see you next time.